If you could pick a breed of cat to fuck, what would you pick? No Please. cat. I would not fuck a cat. Himalayan. <laughs> You're the only one with an answer. I, I'm real. I'm the real Shane Dawson here. What is this? I don't, yeah, I Shane don't Dawson thing. Shane Did he Dawson. fuck a cat? I don't know. I'm not Shane Dawson. <laughs> true dude for real did he fuck a cat or something there was that that's vine the, we just watched too that's the big thing going around town today that he fucked a cat yeah Shane Dawson Didn't Shane he Dawson's make, that YouTube he's like guy. a YouTube did he make yeah. a movie or something probably not cool or something like that no no no, no, no. It was, I, I fucked think it was my deep cat impact. it was deep impact no it was Starring deep Shane penetration Dawson. deep feline penetration yeah. <laughs> Shane Dawson it's <laughs> fucked up Shane Dawson and Mr. Whiskers off to a bad start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Fuck. Fart. Fudge nuggets. Greetings, traveler, and welcome to a land both strange and unknown. There's no guarantee you'll return home, so turn back now before you find yourself consumed by the Midnight Zane, Elves. Zane, throw this shit on the floor again. What? <laughs> fuck Frodo's and fuck you, Spencer. God damn it! Hello, Midnight Elves fans. How's everybody doing? It's your boy, Big Boy Zane, over there in the corner. Goat nuts over here in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still horrified that we the sounds that Colin Bones made when we broke them. Oh yeah, we. Oh yeah. Oh, the God. snapping and the cracking of Seaman's bones underneath our iron boot. But the good thing, well, I mean, the good thing for him was he was already shot in the head before we did all that gruesome shit to him. <laughs> and why was he screaming? That's well, just, his brain was still alive. Yeah, his brain, yeah. But his heart was dead. His heart was long his heart was, dead. Yeah. He does look really good over your mantelpiece, though. Just and a, yeah, I want to take that down, by the way. Just a skinned live Colin. Well, I mean, he's all mangled up like the pretzel from Z Don't Mess With Zohan, because that's, that's, <laughs> that's how his bones broke. I think we got like a minute in without you talking about Don't Mess With Zohan. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you? Dude, did it's you, just such a fucking good movie. Did you watch it when you were captain? Yes. I want, <laughs> Dude, I didn't get to watch the whole thing, though, because we got a job, and then my captain put on like some... Like, fucking, like the original X-Men TV You're, show. Wait, what? Hold on, your captain put a movie on while you guys were working? Well, I mean, because there's two captains on, so he was driving. What? Yeah, there was one captain It can't driving. be two captains of the same boat? Yeah. No way. I swear to God. Do they transition? Yes. So they're There's like the main captain. So, so there's the main captain, then there's just the regular captain, then yeah. there's the mate. And then there's the engineer, and then there's dog shit, and then there's me. And there's the barrel boy. Yeah, the barrel boy, all the way at the bottom the of the... The barrel boy receives yep. peen yep. from every little sailor. Yep. 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 The dog shit has more authority. The dog shit tells me what to do. Do you, do you remember those old meat and fuck games? Meme fuck? Yeah. Meat and fuck. Yeah. Oh, when you said captain, I thought of the, the girl captain from those games. She had like purple hair or something like that. Okay. How come anime characters have weird hair colors like that? Japanese people like weird hair. Really? Yeah. I mean, clearly. That's why they make so many of them. <laughs> they always it's gotta have, be like, that. Purple hair, green hair, blue hair. It's the hardest. Anime girls are the hardest to identify the gender of. Yeah, they're all androgynous. Yeah. That's why you swap out the hair color. That's what their gender is. Yeah. Or, no, wait, no, the hairstyle. Sometimes you get an anime girl with short hair though and then you don't know what to do yeah have you ever been attracted to an anime girl and you found out it was a boy yeah I like I like those anime pictures with the, the nice anime girls with the big tits but they got like the fucking two inch <laughs> two inch two foot long dick a big feuded guy and it's like real veiny did and you like get that picture I sent you <laughs> yeah Spencer likes the pictures where they're wearing like the short shorts and their their shit's all bunched up and overflowing out of the side and like dripping on the floor yeah yeah we could, uh, we could... I watched a good trap porn the other day. That's nice. I was gonna say, well, none of did anybody else answer the question about the about the uh, uh, anime girls or that uh, you thought of girls and other guys? No, that was, I asked that question. Right? Did anybody else answer that? I, I don't get upset now. I like I prefer them upset. Like, no. What, what was the question? He said, "Did you ever have you ever seen an anime girl and found out it was actually a boy anime character?" Cause and then all you, were, you were like, you're like "Damn, she, this girl's hot." What's that hot one? That's Poison? 
poison. Yeah. She's poison. not really an anime character, but she's drawn. She's in the kind anime. of an anime character. She's, she's, a... she's drawn in the anime style. Yeah, and I wasn't Fair upset part. about it. I mean, shit, I'd suck her dick. <laughs> yeah. I just remember I was on 4chan a couple days ago, and there's an anime character. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was on. I don't know. They, they always have like really uh, clickbaity titles that makes people want to click yeah. on them. Yeah. Because I was just on B. Yeah. And then uh, I scrolled down, and uh, there's this like anime girl, and I'm like, oh yeah, she's cute. And then I keep scrolling, and there's a comment. It's like that's a dude, and I'm like, oh. Well. Well, here's the thing, though, right? I mean, it's a drawing. It doesn't have a gender. Yeah. I guess, Unless, yeah. I mean, to an extent. But for me, it was the. You guys have seen One Punch Man? No. I love One Punch Man. Dude, the, I can't wait for the second the, season. Uh, the guy who um, wears like the black and purple, the black and purple ninja guy that always tries to like one up Saitama the whole show. He's got long black hair. That, I've it's never like, seen it. It's like a ninja. I've, I've, I thought it was a woman. And she, it's it's a guy. Like how, like, riding from. Metal I Gear just Song remember too. Bicycle, dude. I love the bike guy. Yeah, bike guy is cool. Bike guy is his best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't show. finish introductions. Uh, we, uh, oh. Yeah, I was just the PTSD of Colin. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why we had to kill him. <laughs> Spencer got real tired of Colin. Yeah. Shit. Colin! Uh, we might have to resurrect... My left, my left testicle still hurts. We might have to resurrect Colin with sorcery at one point, though. <laughs> No. I mean, <laughs> I, have a shot I, I already put a blocking yes. spell on it, so you can't. <laughs> Dude, I'm way more powerful a magician than you. That's no, true. Not. Dude, I'm a wizard, all right? You're a I'm wizard? I'm a 40 year old virgin over here. I can, I'm a wizard. I can bring Colin back. <laughs> if he so chooses. <laughs> if I so choose. Yeah. If you bring Colin back, I will literally cut his throat while we're recording. I will, <laughs> I will put a spell to where knives inflict no damage on Colin. What about a like, bullet? I'm not that powerful. Right, no, yeah, no, he yeah. make it so Colin can't have physical harm. I can. Wait, wait, I can. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Stop. stop. This microphone is tilted. I can put a spell to increase uh, his ability to. Just increase Colin's vitality by two. No, 000. I can. I can give him a spell to where he can make himself bullet resistant. Where he just he gets first he gets shot by small yeah. caliber bullets and he works up an immunity <laughs> to where he can take on the fifty right. cal. That's good. He gets a buff. That's yeah. good. There's a tank down the road right there at the fucking yeah. uh, National Guard. It's yeah, like level up your GT that. character first. Yeah. GTA character first. Yeah. You get shot, shot with the twenty twos and then you work your way up to fifty cals. Yeah. And I actually know Colin Stanley. You shooting tanks and missiles at him. And, well, well, yeah, but what you have that? to work your way up because I'm just gonna go. I, nobody's gonna shoot him. I'm just gonna shoot him with a tank. He ain't gonna live. Now the question: the question What movie is that where the guy shoots like the the tank shell at the guy and he like sucks it into his stomach and shoots it back out? <laughs> Kirby. That's not Kirby. Kirby versus the M1 Abrams tank. <laughs> it's a 240p quality video in Afghanistan of Kirby in the wild. <laughs> Uh, anyway, to finish the interview. I love the idea of this old shitty, like, footage of Kirby out in Afghanistan walking around with the little cute Kirby music. <laughs> and in the background, terrorists are shooting at yeah. each other. And you're just going to, like, this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> he has fun. a really. Kirby has a really high pitched noise when he makes his vacuum sound, though. He's like. Bam! <laughs> Yeah. I picture Kirby, he like smacks a rifle out of some dude's head. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> he yeah. smacks it out of him. He sucks him up and then eats him and then he turns his little, uh, what's it called? What a, what a, what he a, sucks the gun in and he has the ability to shoot bolts out of his What did less dark brown people wear? What is it, hijab? That's what women wear. A yeah. turban. No. Well, that's what no, it's, it's, it's H I J A B, right? Yeah. Is it still hijab? I jab. It's still I don't know how to say it's it. Still hijab if it. It's still hijab. It's a job. Is it a job if a guy wears it? I know it's a job if a girl wears it. They, they wear it like curled up like this. Is right? it a job if you don't get paid? <laughs> the, girl, the girls wear it where it goes underneath. The dudes wear it where it like towels around like that. That's a turban. Well, yeah, they wear that. I don't know. You guys ever seen that video of the uh, the picture of that big, like you can see it on 4chan sometimes, like in Final Boss Threads on V, and it'll be this big Indian man and his turban is like <laughs> fucking huge. And his beard is all mighty and long. That's like... When you, <laughs> I'm gonna post a picture of it in the description of this video. So anyway, we got off track talking about. I gotta show you guys a picture of this. You know what I'm talking about. We're getting off this, track again. Just this like one, that, bam. With this one punch man Squirrel. person though. I know you fucking know. Squirrel. Anyway, it's your boy Seamus in the house. Everybody, what's up? And uh, that's uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're such a fan. God that damn. Was, that was not a marijuana bong. That was a big Spencer on the pink lemonade, <laughs> <laughs> my friend. Yeah, that's a new strain that, I got. The pink that lemonade is purple a euphemism, haze. my friend. Sane. What did you euthanize? got called out. Did you kill your cat? Hmm. I thought you said euthanism. Okay, listen, now that we're on my euthanization. cat. Euthanization. I've never hit my cat, right? But I did. <laughs> but you would well, consider I, it. Yeah. Cat, I was sitting down. I was just chilling, right? Just got back from work. Mm-hmm. And I had, like, my hands on my knees. Yeah. And the cat jumps up onto my chair, my right right armrest. Yeah. And I didn't even look at her, touch her, nothing. And I know her. She just bites and claws into my <laughs> hand. Yeah. And normally I retract my hand, but this time I literally just <laughs> pushed <laughs> <laughs> and it launched her. It launched her into the wall. And what? She, she went, yeah, I was like, whoosh, and it hit yeah. her against the glass, the window. Yeah, because I have not very slide. hard though. No, not I mean, super your, your hard. But like she right went dunk, and she when she smashed into it, and she fucking ran out the room, bolted. So you I was wondering why her eyes were crossed when I walked in. <laughs> You got her all fucked up. Poor little Sophie. Did you bring me a monkey? That's why she's so skittish, too. That's why she runs around the house. She she hasn't scratched me since. Well, there you go. Well, sometimes, you know, it's like dogs, right? A little bop on the nose, be like, bam. I need to go a squirt bottle. Yeah, that works sometimes. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, dude, I'd have too much fun with that shit. (laughs) That bitch would be soaking wet like it was gale force (laughs) hurricanes outside. She was outside. Why? I don't you know. Like, just funny getting a cat yeah. wet. <laughs> so, that's so cats way I, don't like to be wet. That's the way I get pussy wet. Uh, I love that uh, the video when the woman's running the bath and she's holding on to you with one hand and it's still yeah, yeah. trying to get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. I can cook you a steak, Seamus. I don't, I don't want your nasty fucking steak, Zane. Saying, so tell the podcast what kind of monster you are and how you prepare a perfectly good piece of meat. Well, see, as a black man, I like my steaks on the well done side. Yeah, of course. I don't like pink on the inside. No. Pinko stinko. That's what that's you always, what I always say. say. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, these guys don't appreciate that I, I like my steaks well cooked. I don't appreciate it at all. Not disgusting. at all. Not at all. And now going I don't eat. Well, I'd rather eat a raw steak than a well done steak. See, here's the thing, right? A lot of people will be like, "Oh, well done steak, right?" That's like what, like maybe seven minutes on each side yeah. versus the traditional like two, yeah. maybe three. Yeah. So I don't know how to cook. So I like I cook my steak like you would a roast. I put that oven. Really low temperature, like 200, I think is the lowest they can get. I just 200? Pop, I put the, put the steak in the oven, and I just let it cook for a couple hours. How many hours? <laughs> About two. Oh. Holy shit, dude. No, there's no yeah. way, dude. The way you cook your fucking steak has got to be It's not even a steak at that point. Yeah, it's like at least four hours. That's okay if you want to eat it, but don't call it a steak at that point. It is you, a steak. You've ruined it. It's a steak. No, what, no, what you should do with those it's steaks. It's a mistake is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking good. Damn, you just T-boned me, bro. You just T-boned the fuck out of me. I didn't oh need a God. gift of you making that face. <laughs> I was like, Holy shit. I was like... <laughs> I was like, you saw the face of God all of a sudden. <laughs> that, that dude, that was so... Uh, dude. Yeah. Fuck mm. yeah, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna have sexual thoughts about that tonight. Sick, dude. This is this isn't really going anywhere, but back, welcome to our podcast. Back back when yeah. many years ago, back when I lived in Baltimore. Remember when uh, whatever year Guardians of the Galaxy came out? I think that was what was that be like 2015? 50, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. You were living here then. No. Yes, you were. No, it wasn't. How long have you been here? Three years? Yeah, about. No. Call Captain Guardians of the Galaxy up. He would know. I was working at fucking McDonald's, you idiot. We gotta go to McDonald's <laughs> after this. Get yes. some grub. Hey, yes. Anyway, listen. Some I shitty food. With, I was some working Mc, with a guy named Sean. He was a cool guy. Mm-hmm. I told him that I wanted to... My buddy John told me how good Guardians of the Galaxy was, and I wanted to see it. And he's like, Zane, I want a T-bone in your car so you can't see Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very specific. <laughs> yeah. It? So... I'm like, that's funny. <clears throat> and then it's it's the last uh, day that it's playing at the theater. Mm-hmm. I went last minute. <laughs> you just caught the last minute of the movie. No, no, I was the last like last minute to see the movie because it was the last day I was in theaters. <laughs> I'm driving <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Bam! 
Swear to God, Bashan T booned my car. No way. I swear. Huh. He T booned me when I went to try and see Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Did John pay him off? <laughs> Look, I'll buy you McChicken. Yeah. All you gotta do is hit Zane's Oh there. shit, chicken, that's all you say, motherfucker. <laughs> McChicken? Why did you get like that voice? McDonald. His name's Rashawn. Yeah. That's what A Rashawn sounds like. <laughs> Bushawn. B A. Oh, what the S-H-A-W-N. hell is that? I thought you just said Sean. No. I didn't hear Bushawn. Bashawn. That's not a real name. That's not a real that's name. That's his that's name. Like, that's like Delwanye. That's not a real yeah. name. That's a real name. That's the tribe name, bro. <laughs> you guys are racist. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pin that on me. He talked like, uh, can we tell that story? No, hold on. <laughs> I was back. How do you cook a steak, Spencer? You and I cook steaks similarly. Okay, so depends on where. So I cook. I don't have a grill on the boat because I prefer my steaks grilled. When I'm growing, when I'm growing a steak, it's like yeah, like two, three minutes each side. But like on a grill, I think it takes a little bit longer on a grill. Nah, I crank that bitch up four hundred plus. Oh yeah, I, I, like, I, I like I talking, like medium rare. To, I'm talking charcoal grill. Oh it yeah, takes that, ta- that takes a while. It takes a while on charcoal. Yeah, yeah. I, my, we got propane grill. I like we're we're spooled. Yeah, I, I like. Yeah, yeah. But it tastes it, like mosquitoes. Yeah, it yeah. does I taste have, like mosquitoes. I have two bricks that hold up a little mini rack, <laughs> and that's my grill. Yeah, yeah. But on the boat, I have this little like skillet. It's got this uh, little metal rod that goes in, it and you can control the temperature mm-hmm. that way. And I'll marinate the steak, let it sit for a couple minutes, maybe an hour tops, and then I'll cook it. Uh, I'll put it on like 300, 350, and I'll cook it for like three, four minutes each side, and it's fucking perfect. I don't even think about the degrees. I just put it on high heat and see what the fuck. I like my steaks rare. So. I, did, I, I like them rare, yeah, medium yeah. rare. Yeah. One time I uh, ruined a steak, and Zane ate it, ate it and said it was one of the best things, <laughs> one of the best steaks he's ever had. So I was flattered. It was very nice of him. Yeah. But uh, I thought he was fucking with me at the time. Dude, <laughs> because so I was you, like, all those steaks. On. I thought he was fucking with me because I was like, dude, I like, there's no way you think this is good. This is shit. I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's like greasy and crunchy. How did this even happen? I like my steaks a little bit of crunch done. So you really like your steaks like well done. Like, honestly, no bullshit. Have you seen Not him too do well it? Done, but yeah. Yes, too well done. You cooked no. it for two hours. I made a steak uh, like last week and I... I put it in the oven and I forgot about it. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You like, burned the house down slow <laughs> cooking a steak. Like three hours passed by and I took it out. I took two bites and I was like, this is the worst steak I've ever tasted. Well, before. that's not, okay, well, it, there's no between like burnt and disgusting and really well done. Yeah. Well done is it's cooked all the way through. You like your steaks well done. Yeah, I, I don't like pick on the inside. It's not that I like the outside as cooked as it is. It's the only way to get the inside cooked is to cook the outside as much as it gets cooked. You can just cook it on a pan on low heat yeah. and it'll cook through the middle. That's why I cook it so low in the oven. I don't want it the takes outside time, to though. be burnt. I'm saying it takes less time. I don't know how to do that, man. I'm not a chef. That's fine. You worked at McDonald's, dude. I didn't even work at McDonald's. I was a cashier at McDonald's. You worked at Quick Chef. You didn't handle the nuggets at McDonald's? No. Fucking bullshit. I would have quit. Wait, so all those fucking beautiful, perfect steaks my dad cooked you didn't like? When you lived with us. They were, uh, the only one I didn't like was actually the last one I had that he made. I took, I cut it and it looked like it just came out of the cow. Yeah, that's how I love them. I love those I things. Love that. I, was, yeah. I, I, was, I was looking at it like, should I even eat this? Do you guys eat fat I might get on the steak? Like, I, 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 might get I like do ringworm. sometimes. It I don't eat fat. Yeah, I eat, I eat everything on the steak. Yeah. I, I just, I, some, you know. Like, I, I don't eat the gristle though. For me. I eat the bone. Uh, for, no. me, for me, it's like it's like a cartoon. I take the steak and I put it down my neck yeah. and I pull it back out and it's just the bone that's left. That's, yeah. That's yeah. I just put it down in my throat and it stays there. That's how I eat rotisserie chickens. I just put the whole rotisserie chicken in yeah. my mouth and pull it out. It's just the Sometimes bird. when I do that, the chicken comes out and it's alive again. Yeah. <laughs> it runs around the house and I have to kill it and cook it. It's crazy, <laughs> man. This is what happens when you live in a household of sorcerers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sometimes so, I put my... A little uh, spell potions yeah. <laughs> with with the paprika, and you get confused. Wait, if you you're know? if you're a sorcerer, why don't you just like magically make your foreskin reappear? <laughs> I don't have that power. Well, that's true. He's not at that level yet. Yeah, I'm not at that level. Mm-hmm. So when you get at that level, it's happening. Oh, right? dude, yeah. Can Absolutely. you can you give him mine back? No. Because oh. <laughs> you that's want, a whole other level. You think you think circumcision is disgusting, but you're still gonna have your son circumcised because you think that circum. This this is his logic, right? Yeah. He thinks circumcision is gross. Mm-hmm. 
but he's still going to get his kid circumcised because it's considered normal in America, and that's his only reason. No, 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 that's not, because he's not going to pull pussy with a fucking foreskin. If a girl will fuck you because he's got foreskin, guess what? She's not worth being with. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that, but yeah. I think, I mean, I Yeah, but, like, when he's young, like, when I was starting <clears throat> to fuck, and, you know. If he's getting them young, they're not even going to know what a dick's supposed to look like. You are an idiot. On every level. I knew what a dick looked like before I saw mine. Yes, it was a man. It's my dad's. <laughs> it was a man. Dude, I, I saw... I saw... I've never seen my, my dad's, dad's dick. dick. You've never seen your dad's dick? I've never seen my dad's dick. I've seen dick. my dad's dick a lot. <laughs> I've seen... I've walked in my parents doing it, I've but only, I've never seen that I've, I've only seen my dad's dick once, and it was, like, big. It was, like... Yeah, he's got a big, mighty fucking... Dude, it was, like, in dick. the... You know, big the old Thor hammer You know in the porn videos when they put the wiener up against their... Yeah, or yeah, yeah. to show how big it is. <laughs> yeah. That's how my dad's is. And it's thick too. It's not just long. It's big. <laughs> what happened to you? I know. I I got like my mom's dick or something. Maybe your dad got jealous mine... and cut it off at the base when you were a little baby boy. Well, he got me circumcised. I wouldn't I believe that. Is your dad circumcised? Yeah, I think so. My dad's circumcised too. My he, dad used he's to, either circumcised or he had his foreskin pulled. My dad right? used to trick me and tell me to like he'd be like, Shamus, come in here real quick, and I'd walk in and my dad would be naked with his wiener out. Wait. <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even joking. That actually happened. Like, Wait, all you the can time. pull a foreskin back? Yes. I don't know how a foreskin works. I don't Dude, have one. A foreskin is you got your dickhead. Okay, you know how your skin stops there because it was sliced off? Yeah. The foreskin covers that and you peel it back. Can I whip my dick out and you show me how it works? <laughs> Yes. Uh, All you have to do is t- grab your wiener underneath your dickhead, push your head in, and then that's what foreskin yeah, looks like. Yeah, that's what foreskin's like. It looks like a yam. I'm doing it right Are you now. doing it right now? <laughs> Are we really going to look at your dick? I'm not looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen I've seen too many of my friends' dicks. I've seen almost all my friends' yeah, dicks. Show them, show them. Except, for, <laughs> except for yours, Zane. I've never seen your dick. You want to see my dick? So like that. I'm scared to look, Seamus. <laughs> Should I look? The question is, I can see it in my peripherals. I think he does have something out. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a foreskin? That's a foreskin. <laughs> It's like a roll of taffy, Spencer. <laughs> You're like pulling it and stretching it all the way out. You're like fucking Willy Wonka over here. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Well, I just saw my cousin's dick. <laughs> I saw Spencer's dick head. I didn't see his dick head. I saw Spencer <laughs> pull his foreskin. Yeah, pull, okay, pull that's what side. foreskin's like. And then you know how your dick looks cut? When you pull the foreskin back, that's how it looks. Sometimes when you get a boner, though, it goes back anyway. Sometimes. Yeah. I'm going to show you why they call me goat nuts in high school. <laughs> God damn it! That's You're one. Your ball. That's one nut. <laughs> God damn. All That's right, good. and I get it, Spencer. <laughs> I'm gonna do the rest of the podcast like this. We are not messing with you, audience. Yeah, he's got his fucking ball out. He's, he pulled his wiener out. God and damn his, it! His oh boss. damn! I didn't take a shower today. Kind of stinks. His balls still Jesus out. Christ. <laughs> Uh, I real I just saw my cousin's wiener for the first time. Today. And it was ball. And no, was I ball. sent you the picture of the toilet paper challenge. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So did I send that to you? Yeah, you did. You sent it to both. But of it, yeah, it was covered by a toilet paper roll. Though, yeah. So. Well, that was, that's what it would be like if you pulled back your foreskin and yeah. your wiener stuck out. So why are you still pro circumcision? Even though you think it's gross. Dude, he's not gonna pull bitches, dude. I'm telling you. That's really his reason, Shamus. I can't believe this motherfucker. <laughs> dude, if your son is a big, confident Mac Daddy and he walked up, it depends. Like I, like if I look at him and he's got. If like I a... have a kid, which God forbid, the mm-hmm. first thing I'm doing is there's a website that sells the little "do not circumcise" tags, and I'm gonna. The tags. My son, yeah, they have little tags that you pull on your baby's foot, and if your doctor circumcises, he can get jailed like that day. Dude, that's hilarious. Yeah. And, like, and, they, they got the big pair of scissors and they're walking down yeah, the line yeah, yeah, yeah. of newborn babies. Dude, as soon as my son comes out, I'm going to put the tag on his foot. Like, the doctor's not... I, I ripped him out of the doctor's hands. I'm putting the tag on his yeah. foot. And then but, I, until... He, can't and, you just tell the doctor after he's born to not circumcise? I thought no. that was done later. So, real yeah, quick. It is. But it's 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 done, like, I think the next day. It's oh. done really... It's, it's done quickly. How long, how long does it take to go home after you have a baby? That's what I'm like saying. Like a week. Is, is that, week. Yeah, oh, it's like okay. a week. And the, it's like, I'm going to have to take off work for a week because my son's not leaving my site until I get him back because his dick is not getting clipped if I have a kid. There should be more accommodating circumcision. Wait, what if you put laws. that tag on a girl, like your baby girl's foot? 
They, well, they don't circumcise. For some reason, there's nothing to circumcise. For some, Spencer. for some reason, yeah, females, but I would fuck with a doctor. For some wouldn't? reason, female <laughs> circumcision is considered monstrous, but male. What the circ- fuck does that even mean? What do you mean? Female circumcision. What is that? When they cut like part of the clit off. Oh, oh my that's god, that's real. I just yeah. shriveled up in my yeah. side of myself. That's considered that. horrific, but male circumcision is like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's just start cutting things well, off. That's like the equivalent of cutting your dick off. Yeah. I don't think that's the. That's not the same. They do that well, now. They don't cut the whole clit off. I don't think they cut off part of it. What? Yeah, they cut it's off. It's like the size of a tic tac. Yeah. Man. Yeah. African insurgents do that, like pillage vi- villages, pillage. Village, village. Pillage village. That's right. Yeah, yeah I mean, they do. Village, village, yeah. But yeah, yeah, and they'll like do that Vikings. to the women because it takes away the pleasure of yeah. having sex. Yeah. Fucking Christ. So. That way, women won't. They won't. Not only will they not cheat, but they also won't do. <laughs> that's <laughs> why the African warlords do it. So they yeah. don't. Well, cheat no, I know. That, I know that's why they do it in uh, the Middle East. The Middle East, they do Jesus that shit Christ. because they don't want their daughters to be fucking guys, and they don't. If they have a wife, they don't want her to have the sexual. Uh, this desire seems... to go fuck another man. Well, sounds... Mia Khalifa's parents fucked up. This sounds uneducated. This no, sounds... this is all real. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up. This I... is for real. Dude, I saw it in a movie, bro. It sucks. I saw it in a movie. And you, you're, you're, you're fine with circumcision, correct? I don't care about it either way. Because there's more important matters than... <laughs> You've admitted the thing is gross and you're going to get your kid circumcised, right? No. I have no opinion on this at all. I, I do not care. Are you getting your son circumcised? I don't know or care. I'm circumcised. I've never had any problems with my wiener. You probably have you? you have less problems with your wiener if you get circumcised, because that's a lot of shit to no, clean. No, you have more. No, you don't. What does that mean? What have what <laughs> problems have you had with your dick? Yeah, I I, I can honestly have, I've had zero dick problems. You can, if you I go like three days without a shower, dude, you start getting like cheese and fungus and shit in there. Why are you not showering? Why are you not showering <laughs> three no, whole days? No, I'm, on the boat, man. Sometimes I don't got time. Sometimes we run out of water. Jump, Some, in, the, jump in the fucking sea. Dude, it's, it's like fucking dolphins. 30 degrees right now. Speaking of nuts <laughs> and hair, <laughs> you didn't have any hair on your nuts. Yeah, shave. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got hair, yeah. It's nuts, man. I got hair. I just shaved, too. Like, if this was like three days ago, yeah. I'd, it'd be like... Uh, it w- I, use, I use hair removal cream my nuts. Great. Yeah, I, I don't get my nuts that good. I believe if God yeah. put it's, hair there, it's there for a reason. So you're religious now. Yeah. <laughs> You're religious when it matters. Only when it matters. That's Did you guys... I like to cook. Do you guys like to cook? I love to cook. Uh, yeah. Not anymore. I love to cook meth. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Alright, alright. I had to do it. I had to troll. I had to troll. Alright, ready? Fuck you, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Moving on. I do uh, like to cook, though. I try to cook all the time if I can. I haven't been doing it much lately, though. This past week, my uh, my lady had her little brother down, and we ate a lot of, like, cereal and shit, because he's a teenager, so... They have Sour Patch cereal, by the way. What? It's awful. Cinnamon Toast Crunch has been putting Pokemon cards in the cereal boxes. <laughs> I got a Charmander. Yeah. That is sweet, dude. You got a three cards. Yeah. You got a he gives you three in each pack. What yeah. else did you get? Uh, Electabuzz, which is awesome. How much is Cheerios? Have you heard Electabuzz's uh, three Scream? Dollars. $3? Yeah, it's like $3 or $4. So, have, you, have, you, have you heard Electa Buzz's screech or whatever? In no. The anime? It's... <laughs> <laughs> he literally just mumbles. He's like... <laughs> That's weird. It's funny, dude. It's I don't like Electa Buzz. Electa Buzz is gay. I like Electa Buzz for that reason. I don't know who the fuck Electa Buzz is. <laughs> Electa Here. Buzz is the one that says... It's Pause. Like... I'm gonna go get my Pokemon cards. Okay. You know oh, who Electa Buzz is? I probably do. He's got like a... He's yellow and black. And he's got like a monster face with weird ears, and he's like human sized, and he's got a big fat belly. Electabuzz is the most powerful of the three. Well, no, he has much, most HP. Look at these cards. Look at that shit. I got that in my uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That retard. Yeah. Oh, one, yeah, I remember him. His cry is. <laughs> I think Charmander is cute as hell. Yeah, Charmander's a cutie pie. Yeah, I would like purposely not battle him just to keep him in the house so he'd be a cute little guy running around. Yeah. I wouldn't want to... He would be he would be frail and weak and flabby. Well, yeah, he wouldn't be a fighter, dude. He'd be my pet. Dude, Pokemon love to battle. I don't want Edgelord Charmeleon. Okay? No, that's not how it is, man. That's like exercising for a dog. Pokemon love to fight each other. No. Yes, they do. No. Yeah. There's also dogs there in, in the There are Pokemon, Pokemon that are happy not fighting. What's the amorphous blob one? Ditto. Ditto. I yeah. want ditto. <laughs> What's the trash one? Since the Pokemon made I, trash. I forget. Garbage dick. Garbage or something like that? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Mr. Pile. 
<laughs> Seamus, you and I agree that the best Pokemon are the cute Pokemon. Yeah, I agree. What, what makes a Pokemon cute? Like, like Mew, that, Mew versus that, Mewtwo. Like, these two are cute. But this one, he's not cool. He's just sort of dumb, so I like him too. He's, he's like fucking a retard. Dumb. He's like Slow King. Yeah. I fucking hate Slow King. I don't know who Slow King is. Slowpoke and all them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Slowpoke's cute as hell. No, he's not. He's yeah, a he big is. dumb. I think Pink yeah. is the anti cute besides Mew. Mew okay. Mew's fucking cute. So, okay, we're going to do something real quick. We're going to play a little game. Play a yeah. game. O- on, the, on the topic of Pokemon, yeah. we each have to pick what Pokemon we resemble. Oh, fuck. Resemble? <laughs> Snorlax? Yeah. yeah. Zay is Snorlax for sure. Uh, totally, yeah. I feel like we can't pick it ourselves. You guys have to pick it forward. Either Snor- That's what I'm saying. Either Snorlax yeah. or Slow slow Guy. What did you say? Slow King? Was? Slow Bro? I don't know. Slow King. Slow Bro is one of them. Slow Poke. What's his name? Slow Poke. Slow. Slow. Slow Poke. I don't no, know. The pre evolution. I don't remember. Right? It's Slow something. When he just has the tail. Yeah. Yeah. Slow tail. I feel like I'm like, uh, what's his name? You are not Machamp. No, 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 no. You're Geo, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is a good question. <laughs> Shameless, you're. You better pick a fucking good one. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm trying to think. You only get, you guys only know Gen One. Like, are we talking about right? looks or like? Yeah, I only know Gen One. Acts? What are we talking about here? Both. <laughs> Should be. A word. <laughs> oh, I know. Hold on, hold on. I know it's the perfect one. Uh, what's his name? Is it Gengar? I don't want to be Gengar. The dude, the purple dude. With oh the yeah, yeah. Smile yeah. on his face. Fuck no. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'd rather That's be you. Haunter. Haunter is way cooler. I picture the scene from. Uh, I can't complain. Gengar is cool. I picture the scene from Whiplash when J.K. Simmons turns around, but it's Gengar instead. <laughs> dude, Gengar is such a big fat idiot, though. I don't want to be Gengar. <laughs> 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 I want to be Haunter. What? what were you saying I was gonna be? That's yeah, crazy. that'd be perfect. What? Haunter yeah. with the Gengar face. That's Seamus. Haunter has Gengar's face. No, he's got like a rigidity. He doesn't have that big stupid smile. Oh, I like his rigidity face. <laughs> I wish you weren't doing Gen 1. My favorite Pokemon Gen is Gen 2. Which is it? I don't know. Well, name a Pokemon Pokemon's. from Gen 2. <laughs> oh, uh, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil? Yeah. I don't know who the fuck that is. Cyndaquil, he's the starter in uh, Silver and stuff. He's the little echidna with the little mohawk of fire. He's fucking great. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I I know Gen 2 then. Yeah, he's my favorite starter. The last Pokemon game I played was Diamond, so I know all the ones up there. Oh, that's that's like five or fucking six or something. Okay. That's pretty far along. I was going to say, you'd be fucking Metapod Spencer. (laughs) <laughs> Metapod? Dude! Uh, I used to do that! No, he would I, be Metapod. I had. No, hold on! I got perfect. Spencer... Is that the fucking caterpillar? <laughs> yeah. You fucking. No, I no, love no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Spencer, Spencer is fucking Psyduck. 10,000%. Psyduck. I think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. yeah dude. Totally, dude. That's yeah. the way I act, but if we're going for looks, I'm definitely. Um... You're definitely signed up on no, looks. No, what's, what what's the for. turtle guy? <laughs> turtle guy? Yeah. Torterra? No. Torterra's a big one. No, Squirtle's, Dude, Squirtle's, Seamus. Squirtle final form. Seamus. Blastoise? Blastoise, that's you're right. You're not be Blastoise. Seamus, you're totally Shuckle. Which one's Shuckle? Is Shuckle the one that's a clam? I don't want to be Shuckle. Wait. You're Shuckle, Shuckle, is a you're stupid... Shuckle with Gengar face? What the fuck? <laughs> no, look, he's got the Gengar face. Go- oh, did you miss it? He has the Gengar smile going in. Shuckle. <laughs> I've had people tell me I'm Asian because I close my eyes when I smile. When I smile, people, people ask me. <laughs> this all is stuff. totally you. Let me see. Is it funny? When I picture you, I don't. I. <laughs> when I picture you, James. <laughs> <laughs> with the Gengar face. <laughs> Not even. Not forget even. what I said. Gengar face. That dude, is you. Dude. Shuffle doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Shuffle's a cutie pie. <laughs> dude, he's got that look. <laughs> That's the Seamus look right there. That's there the Seamus look when he saw my dick. No. <laughs> when, it's like, whenever somebody says something really stupid, that's the look that Seamus gives <laughs> It's a face I make most of the time in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, man. Yeah. Shuckle. Fucking oh, no. I want, <laughs> Wait, I want fan art Shit. of Seamus drawn and Shuckle. <laughs> I don't even know what I look like. Just take my voice and imagine yeah, take, what I sound like. Take his voice. The white Morgan Freeman. <laughs> All right. Well, no. You get you look Asian, but you're white. 
Yeah. You got you got like the Tom hair Tom Hardy hair, right? Is yeah. that his hair? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You just talked a... about how your GTA character looks just like Tom Hardy, and he's got that hair, right? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like it's called a wolf the, cut or whatever. The it is. Si- a, sh- a side shave. He's he's broad. He's not not at all fat. He's a nice little you know muscular guy. He's just <laughs> fun. nice little muscular. He's got guy. a nice little hair tuft on his belly too. Yeah. It's not a lot of hair. So He's like fucking little, sexy. It's like dude. a line. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Just draw yeah. a sexy shuckle. That's Don't famous. fuck me. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> no. I'm going to use my wizard powers to get to your booty hole. Don't source all my holes, <laughs> please. That should be the that's, name of the podcast. That's one of my favorite <laughs> fucking things of all. My favorite words of all time is sorcel. <laughs> Don't source The verb all my of holes. sorcery. Don't source all my holes. <laughs> that sounds like a t shirt. That sounds like the second Midnight Elves t shirt. <laughs> It's just a smiley face on the back. I we gotta look up how to make those. I actually do want to make it just for us. No, Gengar face on the back. Original, fuck you. <laughs> Originally, uh, I really do want to. I want to wear a Midnight Elf shirt to so like bring yeah, it to people. Totally, it's good marketing. We can give it away for free for kids. Yeah, you can yeah. hang out at Walmart and give it to children. <laughs> we'll go to we'll go to playgrounds and give kids Midnight Elf shirts. Fuck that, dude. We'll hide in the puzzle section of Walmart. Oh, we'll hide the puzzles. <laughs> just just sneak over the counter. <laughs> I picture Spencer. <clears throat> I picture Spencer in the toy section behind like a Barbie doll box, and he like pushes it and puts it on his head just a little bit, and like hands the shirt out, doesn't even say anything, pets the kill in the head, and then pushes the box back. <laughs> and the kid moves the box, and he's gone. And he moves the box, and it's one of Spencer's nuts out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get in trouble. They oh say, man! <laughs> oh my God, me! Oh fuck! A little girl has to go to a lineup. Oh! Just go to. Fuck. Just go to a lineup of different people's balls. And she's like, those are the balls right there. <laughs> then I have to go to the courthouse every year, tell them where I live, where I work. How Can't live. Work? You yeah. have to do it every year for every you, year. If you're a pedophile? Yep. Every what if year. you don't move? If you don't move? Yeah. You Doesn't don't have matter. To oh, you, you, you still, still, gotta, you still <laughs> have to go to the courthouse and say, look, I still live here, I still work here. You're still alive. I'm still alive. It's pretty much just a, I'm, am I still alive update yeah, at that yeah, point. Pretty, Even if nothing changes. You're like, I'm still fucking kids. How you doing, Judge? <laughs> it's Judge Joe Brown. Every once in a while, I'll look up the database for sex offenders to see if it's anybody I know. That's a good thing. Yeah. That makes sense. Because what if you, with somebody you know, what if you want them to babysit your little little baba? I don't have a little baba. Not yet. Yeah. But eventually. Yeah. Or do you? By the time you do, Zane will be on that list. And you can use filter side try to try to find the women ones. You know, the women like, sex offenders? Yeah. Why would you do that? So that she can babysit his kids. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because you know if I'm going to keep to inject the... testosterone, your no, if, I, if I'm going to not circumcise, I need him to get some pussy. So I guess sex offenders is the only way to get it. Dude, your kid's going to grow up to be a fucking champ, dude. He's going to be Chad. <laughs> Chad Thundercock fucked, fucked his fucking, babysitter. Fucking all of his babysitters yeah. with his big uncut dick. They wouldn't be on there because they'd be like, there's no adult babysitters. I mean, there's some. Mostly they're just teenage girls, right? And boys. How did like? Oh, how is did like boy babysitters? There's like that whole thing. I was you... I was babysat by boys. Were you really? Yeah. Like people, I was, people I was you knew? By yeah, girls. my neighbors, yeah. yeah. My oh, neighbors. Okay. I was babysat by my, uh, I don't even remember his name, his daughters babysat me. I think you're the outlier. I never had babysitters because I had, I had three older sisters. I had so. babysitters for a couple years and then my parents realized that I was doing, I, the babysitters were getting paid. Yeah. Dude, let me see and pictures was, of your sisters. I was doing all the work. <laughs> I was doing all if that. If you're as sexy as you are, I definitely want to see what your sister's doing. No. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what we, we got off on like a long tangent there. God damn. We haven't talked about... We talked about steak for like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cooking episode. <laughs> this would be the Pokemon at, episode. Yeah. I, which Pokemon do you think would be the best chef? Oh. Definitely. Uh, fuck, there is a chef Pokemon, isn't there? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. know. Is there? I don't know. There's Mr. Mime helps out Ash's mom and like it helps out. <laughs> yeah, it with his out. with his weird long mime. Mr. Yeah. Mime is a fucking creep. Dude. Yeah, I hate Mr. Mime. Yeah, he's Mr. ugly. Mr. Mime. The classic John Lennon song. Sudo. I thought the Pokemon Sudo is really cool. Sudo is funny as hell, man. Sudo. I don't think Pokemon's are capable of cooking, right? Yeah, they are. I How? swear I've seen like a Psyduck or something with a chef hat and a little apron. Now that sounds cute. In an anime. <laughs> that I swear in the anime right I heard. I, heard I, I remember seeing a Pokemon with a little chef's hat and a little apron. I don't know if it was Psyduck specifically, but I remember seeing a Pokemon in the anime. 
Huh. I mean, if Pikachu yeah, can be a detective, there's I mean, there's no end to the possibilities. Apparently, yeah. in the new, apparently, I actually saw the clip in the newest <laughs> animated movie. Yeah. Of Pokemon, Pikachu actually talks. Really? Yeah. It's Ryan Reynolds. It was creepy. No, no, no. This is the ad, the little two D movies, not the the. What's it sound action. like? A girl. Is it high pitched like Cap? Very Bell? high pitched. Is it a girl voice acting a guy? I think so. A I think did so, you yeah. know? Yeah. Did you know that? Fairly Odd Parents, the voice actor for Timmy Turner is a girl. Yes, yeah. yeah. Both Timmy Turner voice actors were girls. I didn't know there was two. Yeah, there, there, yeah, there was there a pilot, was and then something happened, and then, uh, what's his name, Butch Hartman? Yeah. Talked about how the new voice actor was, like, all the source of her problems, because she's not getting work or whatever. He said some really fucked up shit. Damn, dude. Yeah, Butch Hartman turned out to be, like, a real monster the past, like, year or two. That's crazy. Yeah, he went from, like, the super nice guy. Wait a minute! I don't want... Holy fuck! Holy shit, I've been wanting to tell this story for months, and I always forget about when we hang out. Right. There is a video, I have no idea if, edit, if it's edited or not, but I don't think it is. I swear, there's there's a video of Butch Hartman on YouTube reacting to uh, memes based off the characters he's created. What? Yeah. There'll be, like, like there was one where... I swear this this was I'm not saying it was real. Yeah. I'm saying that it was I somebody must have edited it unless it was now, real. Now Butch Hartman made Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, Fairly Odd Parents. And what else? He, was he Danny Phantom? I think it was Danny. Yeah, Phantom. that's probably the same. Danny Phantom. Ooh, Madeline Fenton. We're talking about wife <laughs> Stop. Anyway, <laughs> get off track. Chop. Yeah, he also right. made like two really bad shows that are out now too, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But those are like the two good ones he made. But um. There's a video of him reacting. I swear, you can look this up. Him reacting to memes based off the shows he made. Yeah. So there's one where uh, it's Timmy's dad going like Dinkelberg and it's just reacting to certain things. And there was one where he's like in front of the Titanic. Uh -huh. And he's like Dinkelberg and this ship sinking in the background. Yeah. And Butch Hartman's like, yeah, that's kind of messed up, but whatever. And then he like clicks on the next one. <laughs> I swear to God. It must have been edited. Because yeah. that first one seems reasonable, right? Yeah. The next one is the Twin Towers. Explaining Holy shit! shit. <laughs> and, and Timmy's dad in the front shaking his yeah. fist going, Dinkelberg. Yeah. And, like, Butch Hartman's there, and I swear it must have been edited. But Butch Hartman's there reacting to it, like, on his computer. And his reaction, he's got, like, because he just saw the Titanic one. And he was like, he was <laughs> yeah. just like, yeah, whatever. He, he's like, he cracks a smile and puts his <laughs> hand in front of him. He doesn't say anything, but he tries to play it off like Holy he didn't just shit. do that, and he clicks on the next, like, meme, and yeah. I swear it must have been edited, Yeah, but there really is a video of him reacting to memes based off his shows. We should try to find it and post it in the description. Oh, yeah, dude, definitely. if you even find that, holy <laughs> shit. But that is a real video. It's you pretty can, fucking funny. But yeah, Butch Hartman, he, 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 everybody thought he was a sweetheart, like, a year ago. Yeah. Like, he started uploading a lot on YouTube, and, like, he tried making his own show, and it turned out that he was, like, a real dickhead. Maybe he, <laughs> he turned said, into a dickhead. Maybe the fame got that to him. That is possible. But, yeah, yeah. He, he, like, started saying and doing some really fucked up things. He screwed a lot of people out of money, apparently. He screwed a lot of people. He screwed a lot of children. <laughs> no, not, I'm not throwing any child molestation accusations at that. I'm saying he screwed people out of their money. You go to Watchdog.com, it's a big photo of Butch Hart. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at 9-11 survivors. Hugging Danny Phantom. <laughs> hugging Danny Phantom, saying you're, you're, you're home genie. <laughs> no, I, no, you're free genie. I always, That's what it was. I always picture me as a ghost with the little, a little just like me, but from the waist down. It's got a little, little Danny Phantom little, squiggle. Little, little tail. Little ghost yeah. <laughs> That's what I picture me as a ghost. I never liked Danny Phantom. Really? I yeah. never watched it. I love it. Danny Phantom. It awakened my... Lust for... It's basically like Spider-Man. For, for mature ladies, though, when I was a little baba. It's basically like Spider-Man. Except not as good. Except not as good. Not as good. Unless it's like, you know, homecoming. Then it's better. Yeah. I gotta piss. I'm listening. Seamus is fucking Asian. Fuck Seamus. We need to get him off the podcast. Fucking hate Seamus. I'm gonna fucking cut his dick off. I swear to God. Bitch ass. Cut. Oh, bitch. Fuck. Fuck Seamus, and then we'll kill him. He looks Mexican. He is Mexican. <laughs> I see other people's poop stains in the toilets. Do you aim for them? Yeah. It's it's be something to shoot at. Yeah, about... it's called poop chipping. <laughs> <laughs> I think about how like the poop, the poop parasites will crawl up your pee and get inside of your body, though. <laughs> it's gross. It's like gasoline and fire, just poop yeah, parasites. Yeah, exactly. Shirt. 
Poop parasites. <laughs> poop parasites. It's like the Conker's Bad Fur Day ball. It's like it's like I poop parasites. Talking about me and it's a gone. it's a bunch of little fucking post Malones as the who's like po- who's post Malone. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. You haven't seen that meme where it's like the one per the point. I don't watch oh, memes, my friend. It's not watching. It's a picture. I've never seen it. God damn! I got pull a picture of Post Malone, you uncultured swan. Is it like Matches? You know who? You guys know who Matches Malone is? That's Batman's ulterior identity. Whenever he goes undercover as a criminal, and he always has a match in his mouth. What are you doing, Zane? <laughs> Zane's flexing. No, I'm doing like the Thanos, like when he does. He like squeezes <laughs> his fingers together. Yeah. And it does the little. Thanos is dumb. <clears throat> did you, did you see? Guy? The, I don't know who that is. Did you see the one where little Ant Man went up his them. butthole? And started dancing. <laughs> did you see that? Nope. Oh, dude, you gotta show Seamus that. Because that's exactly I'm trying what to find the... that one picture. Yeah, like this. That's, like, with no face tattoos. I don't know who this is. But, but like, he just he just looks fucking disgusting. He does look disgusting. Would you let Post Malone babysit your children? Absolutely. That oh. bitch could shotgun a beer in, like, two seconds. Like, <laughs> that's the kind of winning... Look up the Ant-Man goes in Thanos' butthole meme. I just want that typed in. I've seen people talk about that on, like, yeah. CO and shit. No, I, I, I just remind me of that 4chan post you sent me where they talk about Ant-Man going up Shannon's <laughs> butt to kill him. <laughs> it remind me of that. Did you guys have any cooking stories when you were little Baba? Uh, yes, I have one, actually. Yeah? You know the tuna helper? Like, the boxes? Boxes of tuna. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, hamburger, like, like, helper, hamburger helper. Tuna. Okay, tuna yeah. helper. Yeah. So... I was trying to learn how to cook because, like, my dad's, like, this master chef or whatever. And I was mm-hmm. like, all right, teach me how to cook. Yeah. And um, he's like, all right. And he's like, teach me how to make Can we talk about how funny your dad is? He cooks, will cook, like, a nice meal for the family. Mm-hmm. And they won't eat it. He'll just eat cereal at the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's no bullshit, That's dude. That's no bullshit. That is no, like, he'll dad cook this. Yeah. He'll cook, like, this fucking, like, like steak with, like, Fucking mashed lo- potatoes, corn, broccoli, mm-hmm. and it's got like a shrimp, crab, fucking mm-hmm. sauce on top, mm-hmm. and he's over there fucking munching on Cheerios. <laughs> Here's the thing, I think I I actually do believe that because I was just telling my last week I we had like an Italian night, and I made like fucking I made fifty meatballs. <laughs> they were fucking big boys too. They're like the size I of that like microphone cover. Oh, I like big meatballs. <laughs> but I made fifty of them fuckers, and after you make a lot of food, you don't feel like eating them anymore. That's Dude, not, that's not what I feel like. it drives me fucking crazy because he makes like this like Gordon Ramsay fucking meal, oh, yeah. and he's eating fucking Frosted Flakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like what and, the fuck? And your mom is like, eat the fucking the good carbs, yeah. not the bad shit you're eating. And he's like, oh. and he's, he's chowing down on Oreo. Part of my carb diet. Yeah. He's the, <laughs> his yeah. carb only diet. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, what happened? So I was making the tuna helper. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, um, like, I made it good. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to start, like, you know, dad, like, he'll, he'll put some, you know, spices and shit in it. Yeah. Up a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of cinnamon. <laughs> Actually, a lot of bit of cinnamon. <laughs> Mostly cinnamon. Mostly cinnamon. And, like, I'm like, oh, man, this tastes really good. Was it and cinnamon my, or cinnamon sugar? No, it was cinnamon. Just cinnamon. Okay. Just, so, like, yeah. it had no sweetness yeah, to it. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. fucking yeah. cinnamon. <laughs> And yeah. I swear you can ask my sisters and my dad to this day. My sisters like took one by they're like, what the fuck is it? I had to eat it all to myself. <laughs> I put cinnamon in tuna helper. <laughs> that was the chef I was as a kid. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I have a cooking story. Yeah. So we order subs. We order subs. Yeah. Uh from a restaurant. <clears throat> and they didn't put enough cheese on it to my liking. Mm-hmm. So I sprinkled some cheese on it and threw it in the microwave. <laughs> and it was aluminum. Wrapped in oh, aluminum. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Did you sprinkle cheese on the aluminum and put it in? I don't know. Put it on the sub. But the sub was wrapped in aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> Two seconds into the microwave, it caught on fire. And I was like, holy shit! <laughs> I fucking swung the door. <laughs> this, is how, this is how I react, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm like, oh, fuck. I open the door and I go get the sprayer because the, the kitchen sink is right next to it. Yeah. I just have about the spray the fire goes out. So I'm like, all right, mm-hmm. sweet. And my parents are in the room right next to it. Yeah. And my brother, he sees it all happening. You know, his rea- you know my, my reaction is pretty level-headed, I mm-hmm. think. You know how my brother reacts? Fire! Fire, 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 fire! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bolts out of the room as fast as possible, screaming fire like 20 times. <laughs> Dude, that takes me back to a story, dude. Yeah. Just a, no, no, just go a ahead, quick, go quick. Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh man, I still feel bad about this to my to this day. I just a 
Before I <laughs> before I begin the story, uh -huh. I just want to let you know. Preface something. Preface. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So this is I, I I was in a different room than I am now, and I had a closet that was literally like this big. Okay. They can't yeah. see how big. It's small. Audience. Yeah, it's small. It's small. It's very yeah. small. And I was a big kid, and this was when I was about ten years old. So okay, story time. Here we go. My dad's at work. My mom's sound asleep. She's the ER nurse night shift. So it's, this is during the day, and it's like me and my one sister. I think. But two of my sisters. Yeah. And uh, we had a candle lit. My dumb ass took a tissue, put it over the fire, and it caught fire. I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to the sink and put it out. <laughs> well, it, you know, tissues burn pretty quick, start burning the fuck out of my fingers, and it sinks all the way over there. So my dumb ass opens the trash can, throws it in the fucking trash can, trash can goes up. You said the fire is gone. Uh huh. <laughs> The trash can. You threw the fire away. That makes it irrelevant. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. The fire leaves existence when it goes into the trash can. Fire's all gone. Wrong. Outside, out of mind. <laughs> yeah, that's what you found out that day. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, fuck, dude. It's yeah. out, it's out. No. Trash can catches fire. I'm fucking freaking out. My sisters are freaking out. My mom is sound asleep after like three fucking night shifts straight, 12 hour shifts. <laughs> mom! Mom, the kitchen's on fire! She's fucking freaking out. She, <laughs> she, I, she like picks the trash can. I don't even remember. I think she like fucking. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like crazy fire, but it was enough yeah. to like freak us out. Yeah. She's like yelling at me and shit. I literally run up to my closet and I stay in there. Because I knew my dad was gonna whoop my ass when he got him. <laughs> and like it, like it's gonna. This is really gonna make the story suck. My dad like opens his door and says, "It's okay, son." Oh. But yeah, you know, I didn't get my ass whooped like I was. You know, your but, dad's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He, I met your dad one time. Yeah, he's, he's cool. cool. He's a cool, dude. Yeah. So it's time for the. It's time for the story, y'all. It's time for the story. The dog. story. The orange platter story. The orange platter <laughs> story. Bum, bum, bum. So there's. <laughs> There's a lot of shit that people do. Spencer has not heard the story, but I have. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of shit that kids do that you look back on and you're like, why the fuck did I even do that? And for many years, I forgot that this even happened. <laughs> I remembered it. Probably like five years ago, I remembered it and brought it up to our other friend, Connor. But anyway, my dad used to use uh, season salt. You know, like the... Oh, the, I love the season salt. I put one. it on corn. Like the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. There you go. <laughs> oh, the uh, you know how, like the orange one, the Laurie's yeah. one. Yeah. And um, this is back when I was still learning how to cook. But my dad used to put season salt on like fucking everything. Yeah. And so Some good shit. I was like, I'm like a teeny tiny at this point. Like I was probably like four, but I was making eggs. And I also had some frozen corn. <laughs> we used to have these blue plates. So I put the eggs on there, and then I put the corn on there. So it's like gold, and I take. <laughs> I unscrew, I unscrew the lorry seeds and salt and fucking like dump almost like the whole bottle all over the thing. And I start, this is where I'm like, why did I do this? And I start walking around the house, I'm all alone. And for some reason, I pretend I'm a butler. And I, I, All right, I'm sorry. I walk into my room holding this giant plate of fucking sea salt. <laughs> no, not sea salt. Seasoned salt and uh, eggs and frozen corn. <laughs> Is it even cooked? That was the a corn? big thing. No, I used to eat frozen corn all the time. Was it cooked or was it no, frozen? No, it was frozen. Frozen. It was frozen. Frozen corn. Just. What do you just swallow it? Just chew on it. <laughs> Doesn't even chew his food. Like, oh. No, I walk into my room. And I say, one orange platter, sir, <laughs> to myself. <laughs> and then I drop it by accident. <laughs> and then you say you slipped or something? Yeah. And it went, like, all over the wall. <laughs> I slipped and it goes fucking everywhere and there's a shit ton of salt. So it's like these teeny <laughs> It's almost like glitter. Like, you can't get, I got, like, salt in my bed sheet, salt in my toy chest. <laughs> For me, it's the fact that I was talking to myself the whole fucking time like a little fucking fruitcake. Walking around my house holding this thing. One orange platter. Everybody does that though. When I make eggs in the morning, I like I like put my arm up under my leg and I yeah. throw the egg up in the air and yeah. I try and catch it and it sits the floor and it's on the floor and Sophie comes to eat it and you go, bam, and she runs away. I got a little newspaper. Bop! 
it's my egg. Jesus. And then I scoop the egg up and I put it back in the pan. <laughs> he said you gotta cook the germs off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, well that's the orange platter story. Have you seen that meme where it's like when you pick your food up after 4.99 seconds and then it says germs and it's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a... <clears throat> you guys like Coke or Pepsi more? Coke! Oh, fuck Pe Pepsi. I hate Pepsi. Pepsi. Coke. You're disgusting. God damn. Y'all are fucking crazy. All right, here. Here's my thing on Pepsi. It sucks ass. <laughs> there, it tastes there, like ass and you love to eat no, ass. No, no. I do love to eat ass. But there you go. There's a swollen the, holes. I identify... Well, not identify... <laughs> I identify as a toilet seat. Identify, you know, identify as an ass eater. He identifies as a can of Pepsi. No, I, I, there's three subgroups for soda, okay? Yeah. There's fountain, can, and bottle. Yeah, alright. So, for can and fountain, Pepsi. I will say, though, yeah. Coke in a bottle. That's okay. some good shit. Yeah. But, like, with Pepsi, it's gotta be really cold. And you gotta drink it, like, within a couple hours, because that shit go flat quick. Because you know they That's put. That's right, because it's a shitty soap. Yeah. Because they put in Coke, they put that uh, chemical in there. You know they put in like a uh, anti. Cyclone B. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, yeah, it's that like mm -hmm. put, they put in antifreeze and all that shit. So, yeah. You know. But yeah, Pepsi for sure, man. Yeah, absolutely. On to the next topic. There's <laughs> <laughs> not Pepsi. much to say. Fuck Pepsi. I want a shirt that says "Fuck Pepsi." Would you guys ever eat a person? Yes. yes. I don't think. I Survival? Duh. No, 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 no. Like you went to a uh, person <laughs> restaurant. Yes. If it was clean meat, yeah. I wouldn't eat a person. Yeah. Well, it depends, because, like, how would you cook? Like, would it, ha would it have to be well done, or is it, like, beef? It could be... I don't know. When I die, I want you to eat Zane. I'm not eating you, Zane. Zane steaks. If you were healthier, I would eat you. All right, well, maybe I'll be healthy by the time. There you go. That's maybe. your motivation. Maybe. <laughs> so we can yeah. eat so you. So we can eat you. I'm not, I'm not putting any uh, pin on it, though. It's that, and you want to be scorpion. I mean, look, dude, I'd try it any kind scorpion. of meat. We're going to talk about that later, all right? <laughs> We're not even going to bring that up right yeah. now because that is an adventure. It's true. That's not a story. It's true. That is literally. That's a pitch. That Hollywood. is the Lord of the Rings of, of, <laughs> of stories, all right? It's the Lord of the Rings of friendship. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. I got to show you all Ferris's house. He just remodeled it. Did he? I, dude, I swear to God. Huh. It, it looks good. You know how tight he is because like, he's got all that money, but he doesn't like to spend it. Oh, he's frugal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Frugal. I hate that word. Yeah. Yeah. You like bugles, the chips? I like that. I like bugles. I, like, I used to put them on my They finger. make dessert bugles now. What? They're like cinnamon flavored. Wait, what was I saying before? Like, I, I was playing, on... I was talking about cannibalism. Siege? Yeah, 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 cannibalism. That's what it is. Yeah. We have to make it one episode without talking about Siege. I was playing Siege with Frodus, mm -hmm. and I picked Castle, <laughs> and Frodus went, eh, and he kill, team killed me, and then he just left the match. He team killed you and then kicked you off of Rainbow Six I was servers. playing as he, Castle. And he DDoSed you. I picked Castle, <laughs> and Frodus is like, eh. And he killed me, and he left the match. I don't know what that means. And you haven't you haven't talked to him since, have I you? I haven't talked to him since. That was like two weeks ago. What are you going to do? Yeah. Not play Siege anymore. I guess. You're done. <clears throat> he says, I'm going to show you Sledge in real life, and you heard a bashing on your wall. <laughs> Here's what I recommend. I recommend you print out a big poster of Shuckle. <laughs> 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 and tape them to buses and and random brick walls, graffiti them. Yeah. And then That's it. <laughs> and then <laughs> hashtag shuckle. Yeah, and post it to our Twitter page. <laughs> post it to our Twitter page. Dude, get a tattoo of Shuckle and then tweet us with the picture. And we'll send you a free t shirt. There you go. Guys, we don't have t shirts. If you get a tattoo of Shuckle, we will make a t shirt for spelled you. Spelled like my name, S E A C K L E. <laughs> Then I will happily send you a free Midnight Elms t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you get, yeah. You, you, you get free, I'll tell you what, you can get free Midnight Elms merchandise for the rest of your life if you do that. <laughs> get a tattoo of Shuckle. It's like Novakin. And, <laughs> That'd be awesome. Like a tattoo of Shuckle, like right here. Like imagine somebody who's fit, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you get a tattoo of Shuckle, like right here, looking yeah. up with like the head right above the belly button. Yeah. All for yeah, only yeah, redeemable yeah, yeah, once per month. Once per month, you have to get a new tattoo every month. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, you can only get one piece of merch every month. <laughs> I gotta hurry, Billy. A question for you guys. Speaking of Siege, if you guys could play one video game, like, for the first time ever again, you have no memory of that you played it before, so you're experiencing it for the first time, what would you pick? Wait, wait, wait. So, to verify... Do we yeah. remember that we liked it? Yeah. No. No, no, so... Well, you pick the game, and then it's like you got amnesia with it, so you get to discover the game all over again. So we can, we can pick a game that we like. Yeah. 
Okay. You pick the game. What if it's a series? No, only one. But that's what I'm saying is, do I remember playing the other games? Or? Sure. Who would you pick? I picked Dark Souls. Playing that again for the first time would be fucking sick. I just started playing Dark Souls. I've never heard of Dark Souls. Never heard of it. You have a Dark Souls. I have a Dark Souls. My character. Darkness. My Dark Souls character looks like Elena. Are you really? <laughs> she funny. Like, I thought you had an old man. Huh? No. I thought you were going for the Uncle Pete look. I was, and I couldn't make a good old guy. I thought you were playing Dark Souls 3, though. No, no, I'm playing Dark Souls 1. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. I'm at... Where am I at? I'm not very far. Did you make it to the Blight Town yet? I'm about to get to Blight Town. Okay. I'm on the path to Blight Town. <laughs> so you started playing Dark Souls I was, I Listen, okay, here, listen, studio audience. I was playing Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. I've, When the year Dark Souls came out, that was the first time I played it. I actually asked GameStop guy who worked there for recommendation. He recommended yeah. Dark Souls. Yeah. <clears throat> was he like, dude, it's hard and epic? So he said. He was just like, yeah, this game is pretty well known for being hard. Maybe give this a shot. And mm -hmm. I was like, cool, dude. He was actually a very nice man. Oh, that sucks. But, um, I played it. <laughs> And I couldn't get into it, yeah. but I kept the copy. So then, like two years, two or three years later, I mm -hmm. played it. And I still couldn't get into it. Yeah, and I think that copy's still in my house, <laughs> my old house where I used to live. Yeah. But uh, then it went for super cheap on sale on Xbox. I got it again, and that's when I played it the third time. Yeah. With you. Yeah. Well, you were in the room. Yeah. Well, I made my guy you. I made my guy James, <laughs> yeah. and I was getting into it for real. Like I was playing it every day, and I was like really getting into it. And then I got the Blight Town, and that completely t boned me, and I lost all interest when I got yeah. the Blight Town. That'll happen. And then you just gotta run to the fight the fucking. I mean, yeah. unless you really want to be thorough, you can just run to the, all the spots. I should go that, to. Yeah. But um, but I'm also trying not to use uh, we call it uh, guides. I'm just trying to play the game. I don't have to use a guide. I'm saying get well, I don't run, know where you're supposed to run. Oh. Well, yeah. yeah. Trial and error. Just find out, you know, as you go. But then, uh, but now I'm playing it for the fourth time, and once again, I'm really getting into it. Yeah. Well, I was, then I started playing GTA with this idiot. But, uh, uh, but yeah, I've been, been, uh, having a lot of fun. Especially since my character looks like Elena. Dark Souls fucking great, man. Street Fighter. Yeah. It's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> Does she kick around? I, I, I wish, man. You can't. You do have the little kick, but it yeah, doesn't do any little, damage. Yeah. yeah. I do do that, though, where uh, I walk the cliffs and I'm not cutting <laughs> That's why I fucking hate those tree guys. The little tree assholes. Yeah? Dark Root Basin or whatever it's called. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those guys, I don't remember them being as hard as they are, but they're fucking a pain in my ass. And I, well, there, the Dark Souls is like designed so you only go to certain areas and certain levels. Though. Yeah. Well, I what I do is because I hate fighting them. Yeah. I just I I will uh, push. I have my shield up and I'll just yeah. walk and make them close to a cliff and yeah. then I'll just kick them off the cliff <laughs> so I don't have to deal with them. Yeah. Because they're fucking assholes. Yeah. Yeah. What was your what, what's your pick though? Oh, uh, you go first. I think mine's gonna shock you guys. What's that? Because you all gonna think, yeah, you're gonna think Red Dead, you're gonna think Call of Duty. Now, <laughs> Guitar Darkness. Hero Three, oh, boy. I love dude. Hero 3. There was uh, nothing like yeah, that Hero. first time grabbing that guitar, just like practicing and then getting better. Yeah. You know, doing the battles. Oh, dude, yeah. I fucking, my, I had good times on Guitar Hero yeah. Three. Me and my buddy uh, Jonah back in the day, we played Guitar Hero Three all the time. I'm awful at Guitar Hero. I loved it, dude. I wish it was still like that, a big Guitar thing. Guitar Hero Three was the only one I ever got into. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck about any other Guitar Hero. No, I got into rock band and stuff and started mm. playing the drums and everything. But dude, Guitar Hero Three. I think man. it was just the music. I really liked the music. Yeah. Too. It was, it was so good. I mean, none of the other guitar heroes had music I liked. That was yeah. like the first one that had music. I mean, do, have you seen like the new ones now? Like they got the double threat. I, I just like the five buttons. Like I was like, I was like, all right, three, and it's real slow. And then I'll get the four, and I'm like, fuck, this is hard. Then I five, like the fuck. I was never able to get the five. I, I, I could, able to get the four, but I, nope, I can't five. do. No, five I could. I'm I so could, fucking bad at those games. On Rock Band, I was, I was, I could uh, expert songs, not perfectly. The only, yeah. the only one I was really good at was, um, was it Living on a Prayer. By Bon Jovi, yeah, I think it was that one. I, I could, I didn't have to look at it. Sometimes I could just, like, I'd be looking at my sister. It's like she'd the be Japanese playing. arcades where the kids are like just looking at the guy. He's not even looking at the screen, getting like perfects on it. That's like the only one that's ar at arcades too. Is Guitar Hero Three? Have you ever seen it? Yeah. Oh, dude, whenever yeah. I see, it, I'm like, I gotta play that at least one time. Yeah. I gotta play one song, and I'll, I'll, I'll go play it, and I'll, I'll try, I'll go like rate to hard and try to pick back up, and I'll do all right. And I'll go to medium, and I'll be fine. But it's like yeah. that's where I'm at right now. I think arcades fucking suck. Yeah, they do. Let me be honest. Yeah, they do. I really don't like. I like the idea of them. I just don't. 
it's the money thing. That's yeah. Like the, it's yeah. like the fact that like, and the, it doesn't like like when you play, if you if you go up to it uh, like an arcade thing and you like try to play like Street Fighter Four, the arcade version of yeah. it, like you don't get to like test like you don't get to learn the controls. Yeah. It's like, nope, you're fighting right now, kind of thing. And it's like, holy fuck. Yeah, I mean that was Tekken and fucking yeah. more yeah. in the. Which is cool. And I was just... <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Yeah, yeah. Was just butt yeah. mash. I mean, that's how you play. I mean, that's how you play this game. There's certain people, like, you know how to play it, which is fine. But I feel like they should give you, like, a... like a, Oh, you want to learn the controls first or something like that? So that way you're not, like, wasting your dollar that you just spent. Because you're going to die on the second See, like it, anyway. But, like, if they would just lower the prices... Like, I get some of them because, the you know, it's high risk, high reward. Yeah. High risk, high reward. Yeah. But, like, the, you know, little arcade games, you know, like, a quarter, maybe... 50 cents. Mm -hmm. I mean, but a dollar? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, some of them get up to like three bucks, man. Yeah. When you get to like the VR ones. That's the thing, if it was only a quarter, I wouldn't complain. But yeah. it's like, it's like I, my favorite game is when you have to, you're in cover and then you press the foot to come out of cover and mm -hmm. shoot. That's always been my favorite. Yeah, that was game. a fun one. Mm -hmm. I, I love that, right? But it's like, it's a dollar. Yeah. And you're not even safe, at, completely safe in cover anymore. Yeah. Maybe, it, or if anymore. You're only safe against regular bullets. You have to take out the missile guys inherently because mm -hmm. you only get two minutes to play before the missile guys show up, if that, like a yeah. minute. Yeah. Yeah. So you've only been playing for a minute, if that, and then all of a sudden these assholes with missiles come up and they don't look different enough for the regular mm -hmm. soldiers anyway. You but end up like, dying yeah. and then you waste a dollar and you played for two minutes well, it's like that. You, it's yeah. like you have to spend the whole cost of like a $60 brand new yeah. AAA yeah. game to just yeah. to see the end of an arcade game sometimes. Yeah. And I hate that bullshit. Yeah. Just That's me, like a... I, I'm a hunter, like, in real life. And I hate those hunter games. Like, yeah, it's yeah. so stupid. I, yeah. I don't I think, get it. And, like, the Terminator Salvation game, that game is fucking yeah. I think that's part of the reason why they're dying. It's the same thing in baseball. It's shit's too fucking expensive, yeah. and no one wants to do it. It's yeah. like, why are you making it so expensive, then? They would be booming if you... I mean, little kids still play it, because it's always, like, next to pizza places and yeah. shit. But, like, just an arcade. Like, there's no fucking arcades yeah. around. There used to be one up in... Uh, I can't say it. <laughs> when I lived in, when I lived in yeah. Baltimore, yeah. when I lived in Baltimore, uh, we, when we went to the arcade, it was the pool. Mm -hmm. Pool hall. Yeah, it was the pool yeah. hall. Yeah. And they had a little arcade section in there. Mm -hmm. oh, I like playing pool and air hockey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those and are fun. Yeah. Like, there's Cornhole, no, there's no just arcade places because nobody fucking goes to them. It's always like a distraction. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I'm doing this mm -hmm. so I can do this for yeah. 10 minutes. It's so weird. How, like, other countries and shit, like, people still do it religiously. Yeah. Like, in well, Korea and Japan and all that shit, say, they have, like, whole fucking, yeah, like, Japan, warehouses not, that It might just be different in Japan, I don't know. Is it different in Japan? I don't know. If I would have an arcade, I would have, like, here's what I would do. No, you can't. <laughs> Never mind. If, if legality wasn't a thing, I would just put them all in the little raspberry pie and put them inside of arcade cabinets, because that's what people do. And I'd be like, give me, like, 15 bucks. You got a whole hour to play whatever you want as yeah. much as you want kind of thing. Like, that would be cool. I would do that. If yeah. it was, like, a bunch of games yeah. that I never played before or something that'd be cool yeah yeah all the shooter games too they have base price and you get to play yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. even shit like dave and busters which is like crazy popular back to restaurants but like and the food's <laughs> not very good either fuck you, i've dave never and been busters. to a dave and busters yeah, never been. it's not good it's like buffalo wild wings i, I know like they talk about either. dave and busters a lot on fucking i used to it's like always. buffalo wild wings i had a couple i mean the service fucking blows yes dude. service is awful Service, service is awful. Bad. The food is not good. And yeah, I I mean I used to tear up the amazing zing wings, but it's fucking expensive. It's ex as shit. yeah. I you mean, go to it, it's like they don't have like wing counts. It's like sizes yeah. kind of shit. It's like it's like oh this the the extra small one is like ten dollars and you get five wings. Yeah. It's like what the fuck? Yeah. Like this is never a good deal ever. Yeah, never. Spencer, your favorite movie is Don't Listen to Zohan. By far. What's our favorite movie? Click. Ah! <laughs> God damn it! Fuck. <laughs> no, Spencer, it's robots. Our favorite film is robots. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? I hit you a little Sorry. hard there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> alright, so listen here, guys. We're gonna watch. Spencer, would you go pee pee? We're gonna watch our favorite, our most nostalgic film. We haven't seen this since the year came out on DVD. And I bought it. I was at Best Buy the other day. Seamus bought and it. I bought it for the podcast. We're all going to watch it. We're going to rewatch it. Well, yeah. Have you ever seen it before? Yeah, I've seen it before. Okay, we're all going to rewatch it. Yeah. And now as handsome, sexy devils mm. that we are now, mm. no longer yeah. little tykes anymore. Oh, yeah. Mm. Big men, manly men. Big we're, manly robot watching men. Yes. We're, yeah. we're going to watch it and tell you how we think of it now in the year 2019. Seamus hit me so hard on the <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god! That's the scariest <laughs> image I've ever seen. That's a Buffalo Bill shit. I Spencer wish I, has. I wish I had a picture of that. I'd send your He's mom. God, his wiener out!